Hello everyone, my name is Mitz, and here we're Birth Me Code. I have a choice where I'm, uh, like I'm, uh, it comes to the eps, like the apps, like the after, like the puzzle room after we enter. And Cora had that weird vision about, like, luxurious, I guess, like, um, solar spirit talking to Pandora. A weird out-of-body experience, and people just, like, walking back down the staircase to figure things out. This definitely seems like things are gonna go in a straight line, but... We talked to Triss last time, so what happens if we go with Iron? I th yeah, I actually got some with Triss. I went, I chose him just uh, because I did, I, I actually know so you, who I should go with. So I'm going with talk with. We'll talk with Iris time. The lion was trying to ignore Cora while she followed right behind Sir V and him. She couldn't blame him. No one really wanted to associate with her. Do you want something in particular? Oh, no. I just thought, since we we're going to group up, we should, like, talk a little. I'm not very good at talking, if you notice. That's okay by me. Well, there are some easy topics, too. Hey, what are you two going on about? Uh, we're talking about our favorite bananas, so get out of this. If you want, if you want to tell us, if you want to tell you... If you want to say your favorite banana is tropical, then it's fine by me. But right now, this is a conversation with me and him who likes more bananas. Probably there anyway. Barely in the hallway, you mean? Whatever, just focus on getting there faster. This whole thing sounds like it was allowed to go on for long before someone else talked to Cora. The girl was lost in thought already. Ah, so it's quickly like that. Let's see. I want to double check if I actually like. So does that count as a choice here? Like you got two of the two of the three done. I guess I'll find out if I just immediately go down the list. So I'll be back at the other choice right now. Okay, we're back to the choice here. And even though it seems like Ghoul's gonna die, I'm actually curious what happens if we talk to her. She was completely, absolutely silent. So was Eight Rita the this time too. It's kind of weird. Despite her best efforts, the cowgirl remained completely mute. The court chose to walk in sounds with her regardless. The others were all too content to let the two of them follow along without raising their voices. Still, despite the lack of communication, Ancora felt a bit of kinship with her. They say that, that, that ostracized people sometimes end up forming their own groups. Like the kids who get bullied at school end up becoming friends. Now, Gula didn't get ostracized the same way because her sounds is completely voluntary, but it's still a similar thing. It's also allowed to continue for much further, though. You know, all the conversations are really short, but... I wonder if we got that, would, like, we interfere with, uh... We'd actually interfere with the conversation later? Like, what was that? Like, after we got out of the room and that whole thing happens? That mean, like... Was just an outcome where basically, like, like in the other one, like it was an outcome that basically Gula doesn't die and like Nvidia doesn't die from that whole thing before, just based on how you trusted them or not. Huh. I guess that's why like it's literally called trust sub manipulation because it's a weird twofold situation. It's actually a bit thinking why it was called manipul like trust if like even like looking at our helmets, like you know, hacking their helmets like. Gain trust from that? I guess I can understand. In a weird way. But I wanna see if that goes up the flow chart. Like we can increase that. Yeah, we got them out. Okay, that's that's actually cool to think about. Okay. That's all the choices there. I'll try to like see the other choice later on. We talk to Sir B or that. And see what happens when we go down and talk to maybe Gula's. Take Gula's helmet. Maybe. Wait, no, actually, no, Ghoul's helmet's up here, sorry. What was it? Oh, Sir B's helmet's right here. Uh, I'll get up back to that to make the other choice we're talking to Sir B or not. Okay, we're back in the route with talking to... We talked to Ira on that way down. We talked to Triss, like, first when we saw, first saw everyone here, so, yeah. Talk to Sir B and good luck. Wish you good luck. Hope you make it out alive and swiftly. May your survival be long, may your death be swift. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says about the game, I love it. Sir B finally denied to reply right before she went aside, and making that gross gesture disappearing to the room last. The rest of the group was unconcerned by it, but Ancora felt a bit annoyed. What a bitch. 
no point even thinking of being next to her. And up with her, yeah. The group was left to its own devolution following all that. Yeah, okay. So what happens if you get all this down to the helmet? Which, I will go... Now! Here are the hacking helmets. So we'll go through B's one. Solve that puzzle. Tristie's helmet and Gula's helmet in the, in the other route. They're weirdly... It's possible that many multiple people like figure that out. Tear apart rabbit and lion. Tear it apart. Wait. It just hit me. Just looking at this puzzle. If this is the the clue of it. Her friend made these helmets, yet these puzzles seem oddly connected to the participants themselves? How much did you say about the actual puzzles? Her friend knew about Rabbit and Lion's connection? What? This is really strange. Friends said like you have to solve these puzzles just to hack into other people's helmets. And also the puzzles in the doorways, like they weren't yours, but someone else made them entirely? Like your friend. So like, this itself, these puzzles, like these puzzles we keep solving through, not the deduction rooms, like we already know exactly how to go through the deductions entirely, but these puzzles, these ones were maybe our friend, and somehow these puzzles equate to knowledge you would only know from either talking to the person themselves or having foreknowledge of what's going to happen. But you told your friend that this is just a converse, just for, just a cute little project with shotguns, explosions, hacking other helmets. Like, what? We don't even know who that guy's name is or like... The with, like whether like I can't remember if like they mentioned it was a man or guy, like a girl. Sorry, I don't remember if they actually specified that, but huh? Weird. Let's tear apart rabbit and lion. How exactly do you tear it apart? the eyes the very center. I had no way to go about doing that. Oh, was it literally just that? Okay, then. Not every puzzle with letters is an anagram. I'm pretty sure that would work. I can't tell. I thought that would work if you just jumbled all the letters for no reason. <laughs> that would turn them apart right quick. <laughs> well, that's not it, so... Tear apart rabbit. And lion. It's not an anagram. Well, the ansible's away from the rabbit and lion, so... You gotta tear both of them completely. Completely. It's so, like none of the letters are being next to each other? Tear it apart Im immensely, so... You have to tear them both. You have to tear both of them completely. Tear apart. It's like there's a tear. There's no H. Let's see. Where, where's the E? 
No, it's no Issa. You can't do tear. Maybe tear. Lion. Nib. <laughs> I don't know really how exactly you would do this. Hmm. I don't know if I should look up. Hmm. Not every possible that is love letters is an anagram. You just tear both of them up completely. I well I did. Oh, lion. Liar. And and Bonib. Would liar work? I thought it would be. Not every puzzle with letters is an anagram. Well, it's not an anagram, and you can't tear them apart. Then what even is it? So it's not an anagram, you tear them apart, but I already tore them apart together. Hmm. That's weird. I still actually, like, this is almost reminding me of, like, the alpha and water puzzle. Like, literally, that was just A to Z, then organize every other leftover level, le every leftover thing in order. I had no idea how that correlates to the actual clue itself. Alphabet and water. It was basically all letters, like we used for the puzzle, then H2O. Water does not equate in that equation. It's the answer. So like, what? That's just weird. And I can't, can't imagine if that's just what's going on here, too. Not every puzzle with letters is an anagram. You had to tear apart both of them completely. This... Tear apart rabbit and lion. Bint. Bobint. Why is it... Hmm. It's rabbit, space, and lion. What about that? What's with that? Can't tell if that's just, just like, you know, stylistic or that's a deliberate thing. So... Rabbit and lion. Lino. Bond bit and liar. Hmm. Tios, I have no clue. Like, honestly, if liar, like, if you, you can't split them apart entirely, like, you have to tear both of them completely. You have to tear both of them completely. That doesn't it. And this is not an anagram. Like, we switch the letters around. What are you supposed to do with this? Yeah, that doesn't work either. So, like, if it's not an anagram... There. I'm not just going to a whole thing of just... Brute forcing. I don't know if I like that a lot, because I have no idea. Now, every puzzle with the letters to the anagram, so you can't swap these letters around. You gotta tear them both of them completely. Tear both of them. There's no... Even like if it's not an anagram, we can't use the word tear anyway, no matter what. So no, we can't. We, we I scrambled all the letters of it completely. Why is the I here, no matter what? Rabbit's like T, but no. Obedient, now there's no D. If it's not an anagram, it's, it can't be an anagram. Not every puzzle letter is an anagram. That's an an symbol. With, with some creative use for that, but we can't swap them around. We have to tear both of them completely. I unscramble them immensely, so that's not gonna work. Oh boy. Yay. So I'm, uh, 
I believe that the walkthrough, or at least, at least one, for just this puzzle, and uh, it's very specific. Like, literally just tear the letters apart, like this. Literally just spell the words and in between the different letters, just... <laughs> or something like that, like, there's just an intersprice with, like, and line with that, that's... Hmm. Like, I would say, like, that's a, that's a, that's a nice, cool puzzle, but that's a very hard to actually figure out for me. Hmm. It's a good idea for a puzzle, I'll give you that, but I don't know about actually how a figure is supposed to figure that out. Like, I still understand, like, how Alpha and Water works entirely, so... Maybe there's an answer for that, then maybe I understand with this. So, meh. I couldn't figure that out from the life of me, so I had to look it up. So, I can, hmm, are we going to see anything weird going on with Serbia's route? Let's see all this. Serbia's walking away from the stairs, down from the middle of the crossroads. What's that? Well, that reminds me, like, I'm, uh, when I was going through, like, a, uh, I guess, like, going, hacking through Iris, like, a uh, Iris helmet, when she mentioned before, like, don't think anyone else knows about it, I was honestly, like, literally, like, just... Just got a spark of anxiety because I thought Dixie be just like, just followed us, like staring down at us. We're hacking and just like, we know what you're doing. Like in the middle of hacking, like Jesus, that would be like, <laughs> that'd be terrifying. Oh, that didn't happen. Oh boy. Serbia is walking away from the stairs, down from the middle of the crossroads. Her shoes made a few taps in the ground, which resonated in the other otherwise empty area. Soon enough, the silence was broken again by Trista Tia joining her for a chat. It was immediately obvious that Bia was not very pleased by his presence there. So what's this going to be then? She did meet. Uh, about earlier. What about earlier? Someone died and it brought us time, so be thankful. You don't understand. You killed someone, just... I know I shouldn't like bring information from other timelines because those are case sensitive, but... Man, this sounds so hypocritical right now. <laughs> we didn't have any idea of, of, of their crime or whatever they had to do with it, this place. We have to make sure those who die are the right ones. That's one up coming from you, we just slaughtered everyone for no reason, like, wait, you just killed everyone! Oh no, that was like killing everyone, pulls gun to everyone else who had kept alive, this is killing everyone! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. And who put you in charge exactly? Oh, because I'm the peacemaker, Ugh. I can't even tell if you're worse than Sir Bia, because even, even Sir Bia is super upfront with everything. Oh god, it's the whole thing I said before with Luxuria too. Uh, like, manipulating everyone, but, the, but you know, with a mask on or just in plain sight. Which is worse, which is best? I have no idea at this point. It all just comes down to who I hate the most, in terms of like what you say and do, and your morals, exactly. Just, yeah. Oh, I hate hypocrites. Like, I guess not in terms of like, your intentions, but like, Jesus Christ. Like, these intentions are just terrible. Oh, oh my god. Like, even in Sir B's case, uh Like, she she's, like, self-entitled, and, like, wants to get out, like, most of all, but she just puts it up front and center to everyone. And, like, yeah, even when she does something terrible, you can't really tell, like, why she's doing it, but for everyone, for, for the few people, like, like, Zuria and Trist T, like, oh my god. Like, putting on a whole thing of moral high grounds. Like, it's more Trist T and, like, Zuria just, like, doing her best to get around that. I still need to get my thoughts around Luxuria. That's a fact. But Jesus, I hate- I don't- I think I'm starting to hate just T even more. <laughs> God damn it. 
I didn't put you in charge exactly. Look, I really don't like being told what to do. Yeah, you like you're up front without everything. I'm gonna like completely straightforward. Oh my god. Uh, straightforward people are the best. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> I'm gonna do things my way, and if you get in it, you're out too. Is that a threat? What would it change if it was? I can already tell you want to take control of this game. I'm not gonna stand for it, that's for sure. If you think you can lord over me, you can go right to hell. I just want to keep the playing field leveled. Besides, do you think this is a game? Technically, right by now, like, not even like going the whole meta level thing, it technically is a game because you're trying to outwit other people. It literally, like, legitimately, like, no, like, insensitivity, that sort of stuff. It's literally it's a game about wits. I already kept that playing field leveled since the bullets are of no consequence anymore. And yes, I think it's very much a game. The me idiot told us we're playing kill me. Whatever that is. It didn't level the playing field at all. It just means the only one who could shoot you is you and no one else. No, no one person who shoots you and no one else. If you don't have the gun, you already showed that you can just take it anyway. And aggravated should be a game the old talk to the hand gesture. Yeah. I don't care, so keep your observations to yourself. See you around, or not. Just like that, she left him, walking away with no intention to come back and speak to him again. Serbia very quickly rounded the consoles, aggressively signed to herself. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Most importantly, I have to finish setting this up. I thought you might see it my way, but... <laughs> she went a little while rumbling in the consoles. She was messing with her portraits, which she had apparently been doing before. Business which, for a reason, she paused to look around. The portraits? Is that literally the trick you'd used? Oh my god, the buns! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, that makes sense in the other timeline! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Wait. Those buns don't look like they have ports of any of them. It just looks like, just, I thought they'd just be names. Like, what? Maybe it's just because of how the art looks. Just, oh, what? Which, for whatever reason, she paused like around. Now her hands plucked in one portrait to the other. So she knows the portraits can be messed with. That's pretty bad, but at least we're in the clear about who's doing this. I wonder whose portrait she switched around. The first one was her own. She was actually aware she was the target for the next one because of how dangerous she was. It meant she had to switch them and ensure that she'd vote for her, but not really for her. The second portrait was Encora's. There was two of them so that the constant that Encora's face was Serbia's button and vice versa the other. That's pretty smart, not gonna lie. Oh, it would be so much better if we went with this. Oh boy. I can spy on her, and now I'm onto her little trick. I wonder what it was that she learned those portraits from Sentinel Stone. I didn't really have much of a choice anyway. Something I could have done indifferently. Only would have required more resources, but unable to grab them. Not much a note happened otherwise. Hmm. Serbia ended up only messing with the ones related to her, or Cora. Well, that makes sense. Wait. Use portraits to use that. Well, I guess you're under like time crunch, but if it was me, well, I guess depending on how, like, stressed it was, like, f find the traitor, I would probably, like, work it out as I'm, uh, give the different, like, I'm, uh, the animal head names, or, like, the nicknames everyone given. So it seems like everyone's nicknames were given, like, you know, from, like, somewhere, the helmets, the, the sins and all that. So just give everyone's names like that. Well, I guess if we're, like, masquerading as someone, that's not gonna work now. So, portraits, yeah. I would go with, like, helmets. Like, it said before, like, the very big calm, the animals, like, it said, like, bear, panda, horse, cow. Just, like, have, like, be the buns labeled for those, for the helmets. That would be the best course of action, actually. Yeah. So, portraits? Yeah. Sure. That's actually cool. After a short while, her vision caught into NVIDIA entrance Tia walking to wing A, splitting up the entrance. Uh oh, I can't see much of what they're doing now. Should be sitting in the voting room. No doubt. I can't hack another helmet to check, so. Plus, I see the, cover cover the connection so I can be there when Tia eventually comes by. I'm just bad because I haven't seen Avery and Ira, too. The day before, the connection to Serbia's helmet was cut off to bring back a quarter view of the hallway. However, Encore's helmet no longer displayed anything this time, as if something had been knocked offline. There were no sounds or any visuals to be heard or seen respectively while it should have been showing everything from Helmet's point of view once more. 
again. This thing's wrong. This killing happened at someone's force being knocked offline. I mean, someone bashed the helmet and caused the resonance to affect strongly enough. Why do I not feel any of it? So then, does that mean Avery or Ira did something? Because they did not, so... Tristatia. Jesus. Well, more reason to hate him now! Eventually, the helmet rebooted. And Cora's vision became filled with Tristatia holding her to help her back at her feet. Was it... him? Could it be that he closed the distance this quickly and knocked out the helmet in time it was taking me to have a connection back? Or... Wait, we didn't see NVIDIA. We didn't see him. Are you okay? Nikor harbored the strange feeling that perhaps it had been his fault. Just surprised when he was holding her, only to pull away from her after a few seconds. So this is the whole thing about Auken's razor? Or is this like the one person who doesn't really fit into all this? I'm fine, don't worry over me. Hey, wait up, we have to meet up the group. Let me be sure. Yeah, we got... Yeah, we got everything for you. Oh. Oh, I, I, I already... Like, even before the voting happens, I already know exactly how like how you put this up. Just look down the voting panels, just be like... Wait, guys. All the portraits... They're, they're swapped. The, the things are swapped. What? Hey, wait up. We have to meet with a group. That's actually... Whoa. Like, yeah. Like, whoa, that's actually really cool. I'm going there, it's fine. Like, Jesus, I can't get over how that's that's a cool idea. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> Trigon dis like Disney, she was feeling as a result of her altercation, and Cora put as much difference between them as they could, making a beeline for the voting consoles. Sure, they all would gather to do the vote soon. 20 minutes past the hour, so they still had 40 minutes, but there was nothing to do until then except vote. I can't shake this feeling that someone did something I wasn't aware of during this part. Something's missing. It's just like running to a wall, head first, with your eyes closed. Not good. So, not knocked out, but you just couldn't see. But. Hmm. It's like, you couldn't, like. If you didn't feel a bash in the head, like, doesn't that mean, like, it's some weird hacking presence? I guess outside of us, so... Huh. Nvidia's the only one who's weirdly out of place. Like, we haven't seen him at all in any of the ones. Unless we... Well, like, like, we're going to these routes. We see the ending bit. And then... We, like, piece together, like, okay, we need to override this, like, no matter what, to see this. But... I'm going back in time to see that. But the box remains shut. That weird thing. We have to go back at thing, uh, things at some point, right? That, that has to make sense. Why are they still in the wing? The only explanation for Avrida is she's seen the meat card along the Gula, but Ira doesn't have anything to do here. Yeah. So she's there to keep everyone distracted from what she was doing. I know she's just a portrait, so I definitely have to bring out that later. Yeah, that actually makes way much sense. You just, you just like, go there, and, like, since, like, you have a lot of time, you just, like, look or, like, walk around, just, like, look around them. Portraits, but, like... Wait, wait a second. And if you just go into the shotguns right then, Sir B will just be caught in a goddamn lie. Wow. The bigger problem is, who knocked me off line? Those details would be shared with the vote. It's probably safe to talk about them when they're physically incapable of movement from the shotguns. I talk to Nvidia again? Let's see if that's the same. The mean trust will look for you. Mean trust and I, oh, grammar Nazis, uh, Nvidia, you're the better person here. Than me. Well, yeah, the best way to go about this is just. Yeah. Like, we just. We faint. Like, we're just, like, waiting for everyone around. We just circle around the buttons and just, like, like just look at them and, like, wait. 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 Wait! <laughs> wait a gosh dang sick! We had trickery afoot! <laughs> gosh dang. Hesitating. Although I looked at, like, the... Like, that came to mind. The flowchart doesn't seem like... The people would die so far. It's like, Gula here, at least, seems sense stone that she's gonna die. Probably, de like, depending on that. The, whatever key we get, we swap the keys with him. He gets out of bounds anyway. NVIDIA. Oh, boy. Yeah. 
So, there's some interference with the helmets, but you didn't hear the helmet shaking, so... Friend? Huh. That'd be great, yes. I still love that. Just, I guess we could just cross her off the suspects list. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. I don't want to die today. This actually makes... This is really cool, though. Yeah, that's the reason why she's so happy about it. I wonder if this is what happened with the, uh, with that. Did she do the same trick here too? Wow, that actually make a lot of sense. And that whole thing, like you know, that ending actually inverted me, like actually got us, got me to like look at Luxuria. Huh. Wow. Perspective, I guess. <laughs> yeah, perspective all the way. Core took her spot in front of the booth with shotgun as an aid for her. Oh, this is gonna go great. All cards are swiped, all helmets are fixed. At that moment, no one can move anymore. Based on what I saw, it's obvious her B is a cover, but you can't get anyone to vote for her. They're gonna kill the wrong person altogether. They already were in all agreement. Only in Core's voice was her to the flowing and going Serbia's way. Stop! No, we can't vote for Serbia! What's this all about? Another one of your insights? You're, def you're defending her? We already made up our minds, so, so vote or shut up. You know Iris defending the choice too, but isn't he close to Sturbia? No way. If you're running for her, you're gonna kill me. I saw her change the portraits around. She can switch them, see? This is a proof of fact, and Cora lived her own portrait from the console. She would have backed where it was. And each portrait can fit in any socket. Don't you remember that layer from the first round and how some of them moved? Now that you mention it, we're sorted in an adventure interesting way. On the left, it sort of is mostly made of herbivores. In the middle, we have omnivores. In the right, we have carnivores. So, like, I'm just gonna look. Okay, I'm, uh, these three are herbivores. Middle three are the like, omnivores, and the three carnivores. I can slowly see that. So, huh? You're completely correct. These portraits moved from the herbivores over to the omnivores. And Kor's portrait moved over to the herbivore area despite being a bear. Whatever then, if you want to believe that for Cora, be my guest. Want to have her death in my mind then? Like you have anyone's death in your mind? You killed Or with a second thought. And nobody's dead for this hour slice yet. Mission accomplished, I think. We all started that hour. So it doesn't even make you. So it doesn't even make you nervous, huh? The fact we're gonna vote for me? No, not at all. The slight hesitation was telling. So we do now. I said telling Sir Bia she was full of shit. You were decided to change the subject back to voting, which they needed to do with a discussion turned into a half hour of a long waste of time. I don't think we have much choice. We have to vote for Korra. Isn't that dangerous? What if we really do get her? I'm okay with it. I trust in this. You should too. I'd rather trust Korra if I had to pick between her and Bia, to be perfectly honest. That's some good morals right there! <laughs> Wait, I changed my mind. I think someone a thing else is going on. Sorry, but my vote's already in. It's do or die. <laughs> <laughs> Should be clear, tongue in an annoyed tone. Look, you can't vote for me. I mean, Cora. But she had already put her vote in for herself. The Miss Slip Ups, as well as her insistence on in having the group vote for her, only fanned the flames of doubt. Even for Ira. Goodbye then, Bia. And honestly, good riddance. And Cora put in her vote as well. Guess we vote for us. <laughs> Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh boy. The screens of the voting console sent was a Serbia symbol. It was clear what it was to follow. It was her execution. Every shotgun by the victims released their hold. The participants witnessed the Macro Bay outcome. It took only a moment for the sh gunshot to come. It sounded like it shot Serbia at point blank range. In reality, there were no bullet holes in how much she wore. Time slowed down. Eventually, everything froze. go with hers. I mean, it's rabbit season. <laughs> Gosh dang it. There you are. 
I'm fucking dead, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I know this will be a somber moment, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, aren't I? Just absolute disdain. <laughs> Gosh dang, I'm fucking dead, aren't I? I thought my life would have more meaning. <laughs> Just flip hair. Gosh dang it. It would seem so, yes. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No need to swear now. It's over. Fuck you. <laughs> all of it, that is, all your life and your work and your hopes. That's been like something I wanted to swear about. Yes. It's meaningless. Someone bring them back. I was also not going to bring you back alive. It's over. So please accept it. <sighs> Fine, I'll accept it. It can't be over that quickly though, can it? Not just yet. We have some time still. First of all, do you know your name? Uh, no, whatever I'm thinking about can't be it. Your name's Annie Sensosi. Sensosi. What about my family? Are they dead too? Sorry, I can't say that. Well, why not if it doesn't matter? Just fucking say it already. Swearing at me won't make me say it. I just can't because I know it, and I can't say it. Something's stopping me. Whatever. So my name's Annie, huh? Yes, in life, you're a real bitch. I'll punch you in the face. I'm just saying it how it is. Besides, you can't deny that. You did some really bad stuff, but I can't say them either. What's with all the secrecy? Piecing together is part of the process. Hmm. That is actually really intriguing. I can't just give the answer. Not here. Not now. It must be annoying to you, but it's just how it is. I think I'd have a right to know this kind of shit. Unfortunately, the dead have no rights. They only have lefts. Is that your idea of a joke? Well, it's a pretty good joke. No, I mean that they leave things behind. What did you leave behind, Annie? A fortune, I guess. I remember being rich. No, you weren't rich. Your parents were. When you realized you weren't rich and your control was lessened, you took things from others. I'll just leave it at that. I guess you're right, real bitch. Until it changed now, so I don't wanna. And I didn't think you would. Our time is coming to an end. What do you mean, our time? Are you dead too? Not yet. Eventually. Probably. Either way, what are your final words? I wish I could tell my parents that I'm sorry. For God, why do you exist? Why do atrocities exist in your name? Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. You surrender your right to live. I'll now carry your memory. <laughs> sure, whatever. Huh. I know this seems like off topic, but I'm thinking back to like, if she swapped the portraits now, why was she so... Wait... If we looked at Gula's helmet, we probably said it could have seen something different come up. So, in that one, Sir B wasn't the one who swapped the portraits around. It was someone completely different. Whoa. That's actually really cool. Wow. Wow. The floor was a dead body, much like the one before. Neither of them had been cleaned up yet. One of them was fresher than the other. The bunny's immobile body remained flat to the ground. I wish she would simply be beheaded and a pool of blood would grow underneath her body. That would be it. However, much like in Luxurious case, a grimmer fate awaited her. Much like in the Luxurious case, the helmet exploded. She didn't carry anything interesting, and everyone was repulsed by the sight of a dead body. 
so no one approached her. How's Ira gonna fare about this? Instead, everyone gathered at a really perceptible distance from it in silence. Haas dealt with. A single thought went through in Cora's head. Before she said anything, someone else did. This is where you end up, huh? I'm not really surprised. He wasn't speaking to anybody in particular. It seemed as though he was more talking to himself. No longer wishing to see the dead body, everyone split up. It was clear this outcome was coming, yet no talk really wanted to come to celebrate. Except Ira. He didn't leave. And Cora remained close by as the others left her specificity. She mean an eavesdrop, but it happened on its own anyway. If you just stop trying to do this shit, you wouldn't be lying dead on the floor. What did I, what did I do everything for now? Now that you're dead, all the stuff I helped for... The boy suddenly fell down to his knees, still tightly watching the body. And Cora felt more and more awkward. He thought perhaps she should leave them alone. No, I have to find out who the traitor is. The chance was Sir Bia. Ira's words could help. Curiosity took over her feeling of awkwardness, and she remained making herself smaller by nonchalantly walking to a nearby wall and leaning against it. I knew I shouldn't have done any of it. Not like I had a choice. Stupid. It was stupid, and you were stupid too. He punched against the floor, not too far from her body. I think it was slap. Oh my gosh. It was almost like he was sobbing in his helmet. Very quickly, he quieted himself again, clearing his throat. I can't even blame anyone for killing you too. It would be way too fucking easy, huh? But you chose this by doing all this stupid shit. It's not about choice, isn't it? You could choose, but I couldn't. I can't choose. I can't ever choose. It's always just your choice. It's always just what matters to you. But then, what if I had chosen? Maybe you wouldn't be dead here. And then you'd have to... When I make my own choice. It's not because I want to take control. God damn it. It's because I want to help you help others. Clearly you didn't care about my help, huh? Maybe I was just blind. I should make my own fucking choices now. I never wanted a leader. I just wanted you. Another punch to the ground. Oh boy. He was strong enough to cause the room to shake a little. And Cora could see he was well built, but this much? He stood up. And Cora recoiled, trying to hide herself in against the corner. And then he was back up. What if he decided she was a threat? It was his choice now. A gloom realization set in. He hadn't been doing much because he was leaving to Serbia. And now she wasn't here anymore. Oh boy. But he didn't come towards her at all. In fact, he staggered towards the staircase. His arms moving back and forth, slowly under him. As though he was a zombie. Perhaps he was one now. people dead then. Oh boy. I don't really want it to be you. Maybe you though. Oh boy. I just would sort have of seen you in different timelines by now. Perhaps he was one now. Consciously and Cora closed his distance again. She was going to tail him a little, see what he'd do. Everyone else had already left his air and gone to wing A. Presumably to unlock the door and proceed forward. However, after coming down the stairs, Cora realized that he knew she was there. Are you following me? He asked the words without turning around. When she didn't answer, he faced her again, looking slightly ticked off. At least as much as it could look like with the helmet on. You know, he really hated you. Yeah, I thought that. Hey, you're not stuttering anymore. Whoa. I chose to ignore the less polite part of that observation. But I kept trying to tell her that you aren't that bad as far as we could see yet. She never cared for it. Said you knew too much or something death such as that. Hmm. Cora remained silent, curious as to where this is leading. But now, I don't know anymore. I'm torn, you know? He stepped towards her. She took a reflexive step backwards. Oh god. Something in her told her she had to run, to move, to go away. 
It's a safe here. He could have gotten the bolt for his shoes. He's not in his right mind. Anyone would lose their way. I don't play like this. I had torn because I fucking loved her, you know? I had torn because I don't want her to fucking hurt anybody. She gone and did it. Did it before, did it now, to me, by dying like a bitch ass chump. Bitch ass chump. And you know what why this happened? It's because of you and everyone else here. It's because everyone here killed her. I feel that way. So I'm gonna make my own choice. Oh gosh. No no. I'm getting moving towards her. Unfortunately, he was much bigger than Ikora. The more she stepped backwards, the more she tried to find a way to run around him and rejoin the group. Staying behind has, has, had been a bad idea. All she meant to do was trip when she got to the staircase. Her ass falling flat into one of the stem stairs. He closed the distance rather quickly. I ain't gonna kill you. That's never gonna be going to be me. I voted for her too. I have no idea what to think about. Like getting me to vote for you, you made me vote for her. Listen was spared. Not an innocent of all things, mind you, but in this case, an innocent. Tom Brady, just say the words. Of course, mouth felt like lead. No matter how much she tried to articulate sound, she couldn't oppose him. He was menacing and she was powerless. She hated that. Her hate was beginning to form to some modicum of strength, but it was too late already. Just stay here for a while. To fucking up the group, you and your hallucinations. A hard punch flew at her. Thankfully, she managed to dodge it. An extremist, by rolling to the side, stood digging her skin and bones. Leaping off, she ran around him. Oh gosh. But his arm reached out and grabbed her. The line doesn't let go this easily. You don't, you don't run from them. They'll catch up and get you. Okay. Just like that, I saw a punch land at Encore's helmet. The girl fell to the ground like a marionette without its, with its strings. The reverberation caused her to pass on the spot. Someone was shaking her. She could tell. The contact was clear, but she couldn't see anything. Even talking yielded no results. She couldn't even hear her own voice. Maybe she didn't have a voice. Maybe she was still lying in bed. Her mother was shaking her to wake her up. But she didn't want to wake up. School could wait. She said something else, but she couldn't hear her own voice. Was she mute? Did her ears not function properly? One hand reached for the bed sheets to adjust them on her. She had been a deep, deep dream, and now she had to wake up? The hand shaking her became more insistent. The girl was a teller off, was a turn to tell her off like she always did. But after one arm extended to grab the bedsheets, she noticed something was wrong. First of all, she was asleep alone. She never slept alone. There was always someone else next to her. Who? It was hard to remember. There was someone else, though. Perhaps a lack of something else. She couldn't grab the bedsheets. They didn't exist. Pain surged through her. She fell before. Her body remembered. She was in the cold, hard ground. Hand was shaking her to bring her back to reality. Jesus, what happened? Is that Nvidia or? Finally, vision and sound returned to her. This is not her bedroom. The woman next to her was not her mother. Hey, Rita? She was in the school. Now it hurts school. <sighs> Cora, are you okay? What you're saying doesn't make any sense. Uh, I can't get up. Avery held her back on her feet, but the girl almost immediately fell down again. Her legs were shaking. The other woman supported her, holding her and helping her to walk over to the staircase close by. And Cora sat down, regaining her consciousness at an absurdly slow rate. What happened? What time is it? She quickly panicked. The time in her had got, been taken down even as she passed out. It's over. A fight broke out while you were unconscious. I ever died and I ran away. Imagine my surprise when I found you here, out cold on the ground. He's dead? Oh my god. Jeez. Any details? Do you know about the Tinkerbell effect? No? Why are you bringing this up now? It's expression describing... I'll just let her explain it, I guess. No, I don't. The Tinkerbell effect is named after a famous fairy from a movie made for children, taking from the fact everyone believed in her survival which brought her back to life. I think that's what happened. So like a placebo? But master scale? What many different people believe it to be so. Huh? I don't follow. I would believe everyone to be against him. To have, co to have cost him what he'd been yearning for most. He made the choice to pursue his own agenda. 
This in turn turned everyone against him, and what he believed became true. But beliefs don't work that way. Emotion and logic. Are you sure about that? I am really curious about how those kind of beliefs work, though. I can believe all I want is that I'm out of here, but it doesn't make me leave this place. Probably not, because your state of being here has already been confirmed. However, the opposite is exists too. The reverse ticker bell effect. The more you believe you'll be fine and that everything will work out, the less they will, believe, the less they will because you'll grow to compla too complacent to act. This is the same thing here. We all believe we make it out alive, so now we can't get out alive due to what transpired. And of course, laced it up. I'm going to fall back down into the stairs. Sit down for a few more minute, moments. You're still not quite there. I want to get back up. We need to sell the rooms. The timer's ticking. The hour's going away. It's too late now. I have something much more important to tell you, so please pay attention. And Cora couldn't talk back. Her in innate curiosity was piqued, and she remained silent to listen. It's a message from Vidi, which, as soon as she ever began talking, a loud stag noise heard instead. Severely distorted voice can exchange directives. <laughs> Gula, hack. Gula, hack. Gula. Directives. Order by table. Order by table. Order by table. Just like that, she didn't re react to it. And she did not hear or even say it. As Ava Rita continued speaking, I turned to the side. She was looking toward behind Cora, towards the top of the stairs. You! What happened? It when she didn't finish her sentence, two gunshots rang out and her effect was immediately visible. Avery fell down the stairs in a heap and inevitable fall. An explosion robbed the teacher of the head, knocking Cora away back to the ground. The dust spreading around her, she could barely see anything the person she shot at Averita. Her frosty shiver ran up her spine. That shape, that's Ira, isn't it? But isn't he dead? And Cora shot that moment. She finally managed to guess to catch a glimpse of her assailant. That wasn't yet to guard her against a real physical bull boring a hole through her helmet. Okay then. Jeez. Whoa. She then died too. Her head engulfed in a hot mess of explosion. All of her senses shut down right as it began, and then she was no more. This doesn't make any sense that Iron would be the one to shoot. He's dead! So what was up with that strange screeching? I can't even think what was going on. Was Ira the one to knock the helmet offline and snag the gun? That's the only way, which means killing Sir B during the vote, tricking him not to go insane? I don't know. And I'm fading. Whoa. But the box... remains shut. Hmm. So intriguing on all fronts. So that was the way to go, though. We got you there. So... Can we go to those, then? We can't get you, somehow. I don't believe so, so we're basically stuck here. Maybe we have to get all the Tristillas back? It's, huh. I am so... just... What is even going on? Like, wow. Like, jeez. So, whoa. I don't even think I have my mind straight. What was it? Uh, oh boy. Well, uh, I need to think this over again, but... For future, wow. So someone else dies. It has to be. So like, hmm, 
I'm trying to figure out exactly like what to think and what to go on from here. We could try to just tee us down from here or try to see if we can get someone else up here. I'll try to get Trista Tia's here for next time, going through all the routes and seeing like 33%. Although I don't know how exactly we're going to override through B, like, you know, being, you know, not shot off. And how we're not going to get passed around these two locks, so... What? I said before, the, the ending, we have the Hakula's helmet, so... Yeah, we have the Hakula's helmet. Okay, we're doing that actually, instead of going all the way to Gula's route all the way to that, so... Oh, I'm so excited now. Ooh. I'm actually so intrigued. Yeah, it really took me a long time to get into this game, but now, oh boy. I had to get behind almost everything to, like, understand everything. So it's not that, like, the game's forward because of the floor chart, well, hmm. I'm trying to figure out if it'll be an easier way to put all this together, but at the top of my head, I really couldn't. So yeah, maybe, like, no matter what, it had to be like this, so... I guess this is me just getting over, like, my front and frustration, like, how confusing it is. Just sort of get together about it. Yeah. Even though I read the instructions several times, I just didn't understand it. it. Just went over my head. Oh boy. So, oh boy. Uh, no matter what's gonna happen, how are we gonna get down and get out of this and figure out the traitor? Since I like I was dead and somebody came back alive or something like that. Simulation or not? I'm wondering exactly like since we everyone seemed to have voted for like. Sir B, like, that's why she was so panicked, or was that just luxurious thing she talked to everyone beforehand, which I so heartily, completely doubt. Because everyone split up, that means she talked, like, Luxury talked to everyone and convinced everyone, and we were tracking someone else's helmet the entire time, so unless she talked to them the meantime before then, yeah, no, that's not possible. It's just not, no. So, like, everyone was voting for Sir Bia, and it went to us, and she swapped to the portraits? That has to make sense. But now we have to go to Gula's and, like, maybe we see hers then? Maybe Gula and Luxuria... Maybe Luxuria knew about the portrait swapping, but no matter which way it was gonna go, like, either it was gonna kill Sir off or me, it wouldn't matter. And that's why Gula went along with it. Maybe we'll see that in there. Maybe so. Whoa. Maybe Luxuria's gonna swap them around and... Well, Gula is gonna swap them around and that, all that. Also, we only have three people dead. People dead. Get everyone. A second. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So unless we're not gonna see is a very special run of where we die off. These all have to correlate to one person here. So that go to this? No, I completely doubt it, but... Well, we're going down the route where Luxury and Ghoul is still alive, so maybe so. If that goes to this, then what does this go to? Maybe... I don't think I've seen many choices... Oh, I have an idea. Like, I'm, uh, maybe we'll, like, I'm assuming, I'm gonna assume this one maybe goes to Averita if it goes down to every single person being dead, so... I remember distinct a lot of choices going towards Averita during this lineup, and none going down here, so these go to Averita, so if nothing works with Gula, I'll go with Averita down you know, that round and see which goes. So there'll be another round to go. And since it seems like the most likely choice is like Tristia down here, most choices seem to go down towards there. Like talking to him down the stairs and that. That goes to here. But we can't hack his helmet yet. So These must go to like these, right? That's my biggest question right now. And I'm talking way too much about the, like, the thing, but oh boy. Let me get all my thoughts out there. I'm a cheddar box. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So Gula or Averita. I'm gonna go with Gula's helmet, if nothing else. We'll get down all the way up here. I'll start showing out the flow charts, like when I make the choices, like make go all the way up the next time. So? Oh boy. Hope you have a fun time watching this. I am playing this. Oh, I'm certainly. Oh, oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh, it'll take a, a lot of warming up for me to get into this game, but now I'm completely glad I, I managed to get this far. So I'll be seeing you next time, whenever the time may be, and I'll, I'll hope you have a fantastic day.